Hey, hey, all you card detailing divas, how's it going? Hearst Quasar here with another episode of Card Detailing Simulator. How is everyone doing on this beautiful Sunday? Yes. Why do I have these videos posting on Sundays? Well, that's actually, at least in my opinion, the weekend is usually the time you dress up and clean up your cars, right? So that's where I came up with the uh, dropping them on Sundays. How's everyone doing? Uh, hoping your cars are clean at least as much as possible during the winter here I don't know about you but I really don't take care of my vehicles as as great as I should during the winter I kind of just let them go until a nice spring day comes along and then I do a nice detailed job um, you know I just <laughs> I just let the sometimes I get the snow and the ice and or the snow and the salt and all the other crap. Um, it's built up. I just I just get to a point where I just ah, I'm just I'll, I'll take care of it later. And then I don't do anything until a nice, like I said, a nice warm day. And then I go full out, go full detail. I've been trying to get, uh, trying to look at a few things here on, on my channel. And most of it is car related. And of course, this is a car related uh, video, but I don't know, game, game, but it really doesn't, it really lacks anything else other than just you guys here sitting here watching me try to clean up cars and making money. That's basically what I've gotten myself into. This is, and basically that's all it is anymore. And I don't know if there, there's any other plans now. They can, they do have the racetrack out there, of course. But I don't really, um, I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care about the racetrack to be quite honest with you. Uh, unfortunately, um, I hate to say that, but it's just the way it is. Got, uh, I got some spots over here I missed. I did. Oh my gosh, I missed a whole back over here. The darker cars are a little harder to see. Uh, but actually better for finding spots that I missed. You know what I mean? That red goes up. Oh. Okay, let's run that out. We'll wash windows, repair seats. Uh, I hate repairing these, so I guess we'll do that next. Oh, oh, there we go. I was going to say, whoa, where'd the door go? I have been pushing, uh, getting a few cars done here and there in between episodes. As you can see, I'm at level 39. I'm working on level 40, getting to level 40. Uh, I have not gotten there yet. Uh, I was hoping to spend a couple more get a couple more cars done before I pop this pop this uh, recording in but uh, that didn't happen just got busy doing other things I've got a new series coming to the channel uh, a game called my garage which is actually kind of uh, like a my summer car type game you might be interested in um, Kind of fun to the point to where you have to take stuff apart and repair it and uh, replace it and you have to, you know, you're using a wrench and a screwdriver and all this other stuff. But it's actually quite fun. Not as in-depth as like wrench, say, but a little more in-depth than Car Mechanic Simulator, right? Um, as far as putting this stuff together, you're actually doing some of the wrenching stuff. Um, it's it's fun. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far, so... Uh, keep an eye on that. If you're liking this video, hey, consider hitting a, a thumbs up button down there. Uh, let me know down in the comment section if you want me to continue this series. This series, um, actually not saying it's in jeopardy of going away, but I mean, what else can I do outside of clean cars, you know? Um, I kind of, I'm kind of getting bored with this one to be quite honest with you. And, and I mean, um, yeah, no, I'm not doing, I'm not doing a channel just to make money, but I'm doing a channel to have fun with you guys and to interact with you guys. And if you guys are not having fun, 
enjoying the videos and why should I even be doing it right so that's 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 my whole take on it but yeah the card detailing simulator here um, is basically on the hatchet or on the chopping block I guess between this um, a new game I just started the zombie cure lab that is not getting any any traction whatsoever I, I'm kind of sad about that because it's actually a, like a cute game. I thought maybe they would get a little more attention than it did, but it did not. Um, there's also a couple other games that I do, um, like uh, uh, Northern Lights. Northern Lights is a game. It's a survival type game, right? Always, uh, always fun to do like a survival type game, but a lot of people are not like into that. So, like, the Zombie Cure Lab is almost like a city building type of game, I guess you might say. It's kind of like that, right? Because you're you're building up a, a camp, you're building up a camp to cure zombies. You have to defend your camp against zombies, and it's a whole thing. If you don't know what it is, go over and check it out. On uh, I've got a whole playlist going on right now. Uh, I'm trying, I'm fighting my zombies right and left at this point. I'm not doing a very good job of it. Not. Um, let's see. I had my window cleaner crap out and I got to hit. Oh, I still got it. Go clean those off. Nice and pretty, pretty. Uh, let's go ahead. Headlights up. This one's going to be a little difficult. Uh, and it goes up well maybe not hold on no i say it's gonna be difficult and it calls me a liar right off the bat did you see that go so i would be interested to see what the devs have to do have to say or to do with the rest of this game um, i will tell you uh, from my personal experience there's still uh, a couple of bugs that I haven't been able to, or they have not been able to figure out, I guess. One of them is in there, is over in one of the uh, showrooms. I've got cars that double up on each other. Oh so, yeah, it's it's not fun, but I just leave it. I'll just leave it open for right now. I, I'm not really doesn't really bother me. That's one bug. The only other thing is that there's just no content. Now they did do a, they did a, a racetrack, but I don't know. It's it's not, not really that great, in my opinion. So I'm kind of on the edge of what to do with this game. I keep bringing it up because it's a nice Sunday game, right? It's a nice leisurely, just kind of chill game i can go through i can paint all these i can you know, clean up all these cars send them on their way and just chill i guess it's some more well, you know some of the games they, they require you to think like zombie cure lab you have to think about that okay what do i need to build for next what do i need to build first um gotta worry about those zombies i gotta worry about you know the zombies that you have inside the the compound you have to make sure they're happy Ugh. so it comes to like these games right here there's nothing to do just there's nothing really to think about right it's just you just clean and clean and clean yeah all right uh, I didn't get the green light. Where's my green light? Do I get a green light? Okay, that's for the... feel like I'm not done, but it shows me at 50%, so okay, I'll, I'll move on. Can't tell what you have to do to get like 100% foamed up here. That's the inner. 
See, that tire is not... There we go. I may have to do that some more over here. Hang on. I didn't see it. I may not have been paying much attention to it. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm going crazy. I'm showing it like 75% being completed, so that's probably a good thing. There we go. And, and there. Voila. Okay, wash the wheels. Yeah, see, the wheels aren't going away. We'll see what happens here. It's gonna be that back tire over there. Watch. Yep, see, there's got, there's something going on here. So, let me... Keep rinsing this wheel off. I feel like this thing's going to give me trouble. Oh, it was that wheel. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right, now let's get the buffing. Right, we don't have any... We do not have any uh, bad scratches in it, so this is just nothing more than just taking our leisurely time back and forth. The black cars are kind of a little difficult to see, so if I wanted to, I could throw a flashlight on her, but that really doesn't do much either. So, what do you think this game needs? Throw some comments down in the comment section down below, and I will take them to the Discord chat. That's with you. I was I had such great, great thoughts of this game, and it just kind of fell flat for me. Now, finding the stuff in the cars is always a treat. I always enjoy doing that. So, you know, if I could find any more stuff, matter of fact, speaking of which. Um, okay. I figured I hadn't popped the trunk on her, so I figured I'd pop it and see if there was anything in there. Like, I started a different profile just to see if I could get something jump-started, and I found a baseball bat. I have never found a baseball bat during this series. Never. So... I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe this profile is bugged. Maybe that's what my problem is. But I really don't feel like going back through and doing another 35, 35 or so levels to get back to. You know what I mean? Not my thing. All right. Got that done. All right. What's next on the list? Yeah, we're, we're knocking out a list here. Got two cars here. Okay, we've got a Mo Mojave, and none of the cars are changing either, which is kind of bumming me out. The cars are all the same. Now, unless I take it over to the ammo garage, I mean, they would have some different cars over there, I think, but I mean, I'm kind of working on this, you know what I mean? I like working it over here in my own space, my own garage. Um, man. Okay, so you are not a whole lot. Okay, so that's cool. This thing is like horrible. Jeez. <laughs> Somebody just drugged this thing out of a barn or something. Wow, this is probably one of the dirtiest cars I've seen. I get a full foam on that and rinse out the foam. Can't believe I got full foam on that, but that's okay. It's a not a bad color. 
That's for sure. Wheels are gonna need it. The cleanliness of the. Let's see. All right, I have to remove the scratch. They wanted me to paint it black. Yeah, let's see. Uh, wash the wheels, wash the windows. Okay, nothing on the inside. I love it. Wait a minute. Anything over here? Oh, I gotta repair the seats. Dang, I thought I was hoping I had like a pair. I didn't have to repair anything. I don't like repairing the seats. Alright, in and out. Okay. So that's good to go. We'll go ahead and wipe her down. Uh, I'd have to wash the windows on this. Yeah. Those get washed. It's polishing. The other one gets polishing. I try to do the same thing for both cars, right? So if I needed to wash them, I'd wash them both at the same time. And then wipe them down at the same time. But, uh, you saw that one doesn't need to be washed. Good. Golden. Stuff up there. there go. Yeah, this car looks like it's in bad shape. Not only did it look like it drove through mud, it looks like it's been through a cornfield or something, too. Look at all the scratches. Yikes. I think you probably heard me reference a cornfield in a couple other of these videos as well. Well, truth be told, there have been a time or two that uh, I've missed part of the road. Ended up in a cornfield. <laughs> How's that? Uh, just not paying attention and just being... Um, honestly, just being a kid, I just being goofy, not paying attention. It was mostly my my fault of anything. Now, next thing I know, I'm in a, in a cornfield. Uh, case in point, I had a bunch of friends in a car, had a had a blazer, uh, like a '78 blazer, and we were running around just having a good time, and. Um, I don't know. I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention, and the road ended, right? And the road ended to the point to where it ended into a cornfield, and I didn't notice it until we were in the cornfield. So, hopefully, you know. Needless to say, thank goodness for four. That's all. I <laughs> thank goodness for four. But yeah, we got out of there. I don't think I did too much damage. This is like tons, years, years and years and years ago. Wow, I was just, could not believe that happened. These windows are gonna be nice and clean. We gotta do polishing too. Well, I guess I'll do the polishing only because it's, gives me a few more points, I believe. I gotta see if this Mohave back here. This window's clean too. Before I go any farther. Okay, you don't need the windows. Windows? Oh uh, yeah, wash the windows. Okay. Let's clean the windows up on bad boy. Ah, sounds like I'm done. <laughs> nice little ding dong in the background there. So yeah, this is a nice comparison right here, to be quite honest with you. What I am taking care of right now is what everybody's using. Or what I'm cleaning right now is what everyone is driving these days. It's like a, a mid-size SUV. What's in front of me and what I just got done was a station wagon. Honestly, it was that was what people drove. Um... Back then, I mean, seriously, they didn't have SUVs. 
we had trucks, cars, and station wagons, right? Um, and then, of course, you had, like, your El Caminos and Rancheros and all that. So they kind of combined a car and a truck to get that market. So I don't know how the uh, utility vehicle came about, but it ended up being one of these... Like, one of these cars, and then it... They kind of phased the station wagon out, you know. The station wagon, station wagon was always a good thing to use for a drive-in, because then you get to back it in, back it in, open up the back of it. You can have a mattress in the back of a, a good-sized station wagon, and um, you know, go to sleep, watch a movie, go to sleep. So, uh, but. Um, yeah, so now the SUVs have taken over. There's no been no such thing as a station wagon anymore. So, yeah, well, end of an era, I guess. I guess it was probably neat. Station wagon, huge boats. Big gas guzzlers. Now, that, they kind of phased out during that time, too. Kind of miss them. One of the cars that I was going to get as a... As a, when I turned 16, I had found it was a, believe it or not, a turquoise 1970 Impala, or yeah, an Impala station wagon. Um, I will be just as blunt or as, as honest as possible, and it had wood green on the side of it, and I thought it was cool. <laughs> it had chrome reverse rims on it. Um, Looked to be in decent shape. The interior was in good shape. Um, it was just, I, I liked it. I, I don't know. It was just something about it that I liked. And I, I kind of like wanted to wanted to have it. <clears throat> but uh, it just never turned out. It never, never worked out for me. So probably a good thing too. All right. So clean that all up. Clean that all up. Um, okay, so what we gotta do? Wash wheels. I have to wash wheels over here. Yep, so let's go ahead and clean up the interior on this bad boy. Because it's gonna need it. Wasn't what I was expecting to do on both of them, but okay, at least I only have to do them on one. That helps me out. Right. All right, and to get this all cleaned up, you know, I I start. <clears throat> excuse me, started looking at some of this stuff. It looks like camouflage. I think I may have said that before. It looks like camouflage. So actually, it would be kind of cool. Yeah, nothing in the trunk of this bad boy. You know, this is the space for the... Oh, I don't need that. Up here. The station wagon, right? That's... I, I just... SUV is taking over the station wagons. Oh, there we go. And let's go get the repair tool. And get this going because I'm not. Go some of this, some of this. All right. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is probably the slowest piece of them all. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There we go. 
So let's see, washing the wheels and buffing this thing out is the only two things left. I think the other car has, I've got to buff it out, prepare a scratch, I think. Or is it? I don't know. I'll, I'll look in a minute. I just got to get this interior taken care of. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to see if I can hit that at an angle, if it would work out a little bit better, but not so much. All right, last seat. Last seat of the day. You guys have cleaned up enough. We'll have this one. There we go. And cleaning up the seat. There we go. All done with that. It's bad boy up. Like the interior on that. Okay, so look, check this out. See these the station wagons, at least the older station wagons, used to have like a a third row back here and they faced out back. So if you'd seen, I think there's a video, I think um the Foo Fighters, I think the video is called Walk. Uh, he's stuck in traffic and the kid in front of him sitting, I think he's sitting in a seat that's facing backwards, right? And he flips him off, flips off Dave Girl. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's wash some wheels, shall we? Uh, all right. So th these are really th Thick tires. This is going to take a little bit more foam. No. I wish these would like come clean, like real super quick. Got you. What I wish they would do is just let you put the foam on there, let it set for a while, and you come back and you spray it all down, and it just all comes clean as soon as you spray it. That would be. That'd be a nice mechanic. Oops, missed it and slipped right off the handle there. That's done, that's done, okay. I'm just trying to make sure that it's got two tires, two different tires on the front and back. I hate that. I'll clean that all up. Sprinkle, sprinkle here and there. All right, give it to me. There we go. Wonder if I was going to do that. See, it does take long for the center to get clean. Tires clean. Real quick. Like I said, I'm trying to get the maximum amount of points as possible. That's why I'm doing that. You know, the last time I saw these wheels, I think I said that these, these wheels look so much better in person than they do in the workshop or in the catalog of Car Mechanic Simulator. And then I was going to use them on a vehicle. Well, I have not yet. <laughs> so I've kind of lied. I haven't really, haven't even thought about it to be quite honest. I was trying to get the videos done. I actually tried to, I to try to shorten them things up a little bit. And a little out of hand.
We're working it here. We're almost done with these two cars. And this is going to be like no time flat. Yeah, actually, these wheels are actually kind of nice. I'm really going to have to invest or make it a point to these on a car. So if you don't make a comment here, make sure you make a comment over on my car mechanic simulator video. Say so you got to use those cars, those wheels that you used in uh, that you cleaned up in our detailing simulator. I'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Cheech and Chong. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, I thought it did. Oh. Dress up the tires a little bit. You guys dress up your tires? You guys dress your tires? Let me know down below. I do. I use a spray, though. I don't use this stuff. Sponge stuff. I spray. All right. Uh, gotta polish you up. Go ahead and start polishing up. I don't know why they want to paint it black. This is a kind of a cool color. Take care of that scratch. That was nothing. Oops. Based on here. That would help. Yeah, nice, nice and easy. There you go. Yeah, this is a nice color blue. My dad he used to own a, a, a 1975 Impala that was about this color. Fortunately, he passed away a few years ago. Basically due to heart failure. He's a good man. He I went home one time and he was like said to me that he felt like he was very hard on me when I was growing up. I'm like you weren't hard on me. I mean if you weren't I mean, look at where I was at the time I you know, I'd been I was um I had made, you know, several ranks in the, in the Navy. You know, I was doing well. I mean, it wasn't, you know, in my eyes anyway, he wasn't hard on us. He just, um, just felt like he was just harder on us than he should have been. But, hey, we were boys. I'll tell you what, we raised all kinds of hell. And I can say we, most, some of it was justified, but. Eh, probably not all of it was justified, but. Get that. Oh, there we go. Okay, I didn't wash the windows enough for something. Okay, so. Grab the rack. Okay. Don't know what. Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't do the polish. What? I thought I did on this one. I guess I didn't. No, I guess I didn't. Wow. I was so busy talking to you guys and getting all engrossed in what I was doing. I forgot all about it. There. That'll help out my score a little bit. And fourth, nice and easy, no streaking. There we go. Um, but yeah, oh, I got one more to do. Maybe.
Okay, so I'm missing something here. I don't know which window I'm missing. I'm missing something on one of these windows. There it is. Truth. All right, let's repaint this bad boy. We're going to paint that car black. Paint car. There we go. Black. All right, now for this. Uh, uh, basically, remove a deep scratch, and we are done. Nice and easy. There we go. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for hanging with me today. And it's been a pleasant Sunday. Get rid of these cars. We send them on their way home. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And if um, you would, please hit that thumbs up button down below. And uh, hey, share the videos across the internet. I have a little bit. Until the next time, this is Quasar saying goodnight, everyone. I am out.